Hey everybody, Dr. Stephen Green here. I'm here at my success chat series. And today we're gonna to talk about some case studies about the college admissions process and some success stories. I'm here with Cheryl yes. Delonzo. And uh, if you have any familiarity with what I'm doing, this is Cheryl. Cheryl's a veteran. This a is veteran. our fifth video this we've is our made. Fifth. Unbelievable. And uh, they've all been great and they've all been well received. And I thought it would be appropriate to talk a little bit about, about some actual cases. I'm not going to mention names, but some of the people who followed Cheryl's advice, followed the path, and, and gotten the, the success that they want, which in our world, I guess, would be getting into the schools or the school and the program they want to go to. Right. So, <clears throat> once again, Steve Green, Make the Grade. This is the Business Success Series. I'm here with Cheryl Delonzo from Ace College Advising. And this is how you get a hold of Cheryl, her email, her website. Here's how you get a hold of me, and we'll flash this up again towards the end of our discussion. So let's let's get right into it. Um, I'm going to let you d discuss this, but so this this is a case that student you worked with from beginning to end. Beginning to end. Okay, so you would have you would have begun with them somewhere early in the junior year. Yes. And taken them through the whole end of the process, which is somewhere mid and senior year. Yes. So, so t here's, tell a me student, about this. here's a student. Here's a student. You know, extraordinary SATs, obviously, um, way above the average of a 2280 out of 2400. Mm -hmm. um, very, you know, smart, motivated student, uh, honors and AP courses, straight A's through high school, mm -hmm. um, started a club at school, uh, involved in, a, in some other clubs at school, played high school soccer as well. He currently attends UVA uh, in the pre-business program. Hmm. And he was accepted to these other schools, Northeastern, Brandeis, Penn State, regular admission. Did not get accepted to Penn State Shriers, which is the Honors College. And State. one might be scratching their head about that um, because, you know, look at his overall his profile stuff. Looks strong. Profile is unbelievable, right? Right. Uh, turns out that, you know, Shriers at Penn State, that, that program accepts less than some of the Ivy League schools do. Hmm. And they don't con they don't consider the SATs as part of their admission plan for Shriers. So interesting. One hmm. of the things that this particular student didn't want, he did not want an Ivy League school. He did not want that ultimate pressure of a Penn mm -hmm. uh, or a Harvard or We're what have Yale, you. Princeton, so sure. we never even discussed those because that wasn't interesting. Well, it's not like he applied to lightweight schools. Oh, right? he goes to an amazing school. Are you right. kidding? I mean, mm -hmm. he goes to UVA, loves it there, good experience. But again, I think... What you know? What is surprising in this particular case is the Shriers information there. So now, now for those who aren't in Pennsylvania, and, and uh, Shriers is is a college within the state university. Yes. That's essentially an honors college. Very competitive. Extremely competitive to get in. Extremely yes. competitive once you're there. Yes. Has a lot of perks uh, if you can get in. I don't know what the percentage rate is, but it's really low. Uh, it was something mentioned. like three percent last year. Right. Which is which is which is uh, infinitesimally small. Right. Um, Okay, what, what, was, what was, if you can boil it down to one thing, what, what was the, the secret to success in this case? The secret to success was that starting early on narrowing down the choices of colleges to which to apply, mm -hmm. starting early on the essays, these schools all required a lot essays. of essays to those applications and supplements. Mm -hmm. That was important. Keeping okay. the grades up during the senior year uh, was also important. Hmm. Uh, you know, making sure that he stayed involved in the extracurricular activities, and it was his idea to start the chess club, and he got that uh, I don't think I ever told you this. When I was teaching, I was the faculty advisor to the chess club. There you go. How about that? See that? Yeah, I, I kind of forgot that, <laughs> actually, until I saw that. Yeah, that was that was fun, actually. All right, so this is this is by most standards quite a success story. Oh, oh, terrific but, but, success. But oh, helped, oh, it's a terrific success story. What helped make a success was they followed the process on a timeline. Right. Followed everything when it was due with me. Right. Yes. You, and didn't, didn't take the pedal, uh, the foot off the gas. Nope. All right. Now. Now here's a another, student, another high achiever. Uh, a great student again. This particular student, 2200 SAT, again, APs and honors, straight A's, involved long term in the martial arts, played the cello since she was a little girl. Mm -hmm. um, she currently attends Drexel for engineering mm -hmm. and received a lot of scholarship money because of her great grades and so forth. 
and which, it is which, which is a nice thing from a parent. It standpoint. is this again huge success story. Not diminishing any of that, but did not get accepted to Penn, Carnegie Mellon, Bucknell, Columbia. But in this case, she did get accepted to Penn State hmm. Schreier's Honors College. Interesting contrast. Though. Yes. And, um, again, huge success story, very happy, won in engineering since she was young, mm. um, excels in that, in the math and sciences, and so forth. I think with her, she, again, followed the plan. She had everything done on time, was writing those essays constantly and consistently as required by all these schools, which mm -hmm. did require a lot. Just throw a number out. Uh, pen. Five essays? Three essays? At Penn, I think there's three. Okay. As think. opposed to a lot of schools that are only one. Right. Common App, maybe well, one or two. Well, it was the a Common App Plus, because right. Penn is on the Common App, right. so it's the Common Application Essay Plus right. three. Right, okay. Uh, so, you know, so these schools had a lot of essays involved, and some of these essays are not as easy as you think. For an example, and I don't recall which school it was of these, they ask, what engineering journals... Mm. Do you subscribe to <laughs> on a regular basis and wow. read? Well, that's a tough question. I am sure that most high school probably students <laughs> are not reading them. So what that says to you is you better get reading. Yeah, interesting. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't seen that essay question. Right. So. so these are just some things that come up. But we wow. we went through this process, and I'm now involved with that with this student sibling, but. Mm -hmm. Uh, involved in the process from the beginning, helping to manage the process, organize the process, have things done on a uh, timeline that works for her as well. So again, very successful, enjoying Drexel, doing well, and getting a lot of it paid for. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so now we've got another Penn State story Right, here. so here we have this student. Her SATs, um, you know, Still 1900, strong. strong. But certainly not at the same level as the previous two I showed you. Mm -hmm. uh, this this particular girl, cheerleader at high school, was uh, the one that they put at the top of the pyramid. That's that. This was her claim to fame. Mm -hmm. She was a B.A. student. Um, you know, she was uh, a good student, but not straight A. Certainly, struggling with science along the way. Um, had some volunteer work. Um, this particular student wanting wanted nursing. She had applied to a variety of schools, ended up visiting a friend while she was a, um, a senior in, co in high school and ended up loving Penn State and mm -hmm. ended up attending there. Penn State actually said to her, we want you. We, we think you're a great student for Penn State. However, you're not strong enough to come right into our nursing program. Now, now is, that, is that because the grade point average three, four, five, whatever, BA... Or was it specifically because of the science? I think it was uh, or, or, a combination of, of a lot of things. Okay. When you want a particular competitive major mm -hmm. like nursing, and or I'll, physical be, therapy, I'll be honest, case, most nursing. of the health sciences yeah. are extremely competitive. Okay. They take a very limited number of students because mm -hmm. it's a, a lot of it is based on clinical placement. Okay. So their, their numbers are limited. They said, we really like you and this... You know, we want you to come here, but we can't accept you into nursing. What yeah. we can offer you is when you're a freshman, prove yourself, reapply to be in the nursing major, and if you do well, you can get in as a sophomore. Okay. So she is attending Penn State and hopefully will be admitted to the nursing program after, you know, completing some of those prerequisite courses. Unless she changes her mind. Unless, right, which, which <laughs> let me tell you, happens, it happens. very, very frequently. Yeah, it does. So uh, another success story and happy student, which at the end of the day, Stephen, is what we mm -hmm. really want to have is happy, adjusted uh, absolutely. students. All right. Um, okay, so now, here now here's have, a student right. I would probably put more in the maybe the, the middle part of the bell curve. Right. Okay. De decent SAT, above average. Right. You know, not, not going to get you on the front page of the Inquirer. No. Um, so then here's a student, uh, you know, this would be more of, um, you know, a typical student who has a B average in high school, which isn't bad. There's nothing bad about that. B average, 1710, mm -hmm. played varsity sports for three years, um, but, you know, tends to go up and down in their grades and up and down in their interests and up and down in their motivation, as we find with a lot of teenagers. This is not atypical, you know, mm -hmm. that behavior. 
Uh, some volunteer work, took a summer course in something he was interested in, did very well, enjoyed it, and had a lot of kudos from those teaching that course. Uh, wanted business. This student will be attending Temple University in the fall, also accepted to Westchester and, and University of Pittsburgh. Um, you know, the interesting thing here is, although I often recommend, let's say, seven schools, this student had trouble just even getting to the seven schools. There's a lot of work involved, as you know, in applying to seven schools. There's a lot of work in five to one if you, if you don't do it with the system. <laughs> exactly. For sure. Right. So there's a, lot of, there's a lot of work involved. Now, is this a case where, and I know you're a big, there's another video, by the way, just on the timeline of, of right. college admissions. Right. And one of the things we go into there is what to do in the summer, yep. which is take a course, volunteer, have that on your resume. Um, is this a case where that, uh, for lack of a better term, extra stuff, non-high school academic stuff, might have put him over the hump? Right. So here, you know, we talk, we've talked on previous videos, you and I, about the resume and building that resume. Mm -hmm. And one of the things is to not lose sight that there are things you can be doing in that summertime, like he did volunteer work, he did a summer course. These things show college admissions officials that you are a motivated student, that you did not Involved spend your summer, right? right, you didn't spend your summer doing nothing, that you planned it out ahead of time, you mm -hmm. did the things that were necessary to show your interest, motivation, and so forth. And so that was what was, uh, I think, did help this particular So, so this is a happy ending, kind of on a different level in a sense. But but again, there's a process. A process. They followed the process, and, and they basically got where they needed to I get. I think what I try to tell the parents and the students all the time, mm -hmm. regardless of what their SATs are, when we choose the schools properly, based on what the school has accepted in the past, based upon the student's potential and academic success thus far, mm -hmm. when we do it, and I think at the end of the day, we want to have the student have choices. Absolutely. That I is I completely agree with that. Right. Yeah. We, options. Absolutely. Options. We right. want the student to say, oh, wow, I can choose between, in this case, Temple, Westchester, Pitt. I can choose. I have the choice. The power is in my right. hands. Exactly. That's what we want at the end of the day. We want the student to have the choice. And in order to, for the student to get that choice, they have to follow the planning process mm -hmm. so that they can get there. And to choose the schools based on the parameters that the student has already set up for mm -hmm. themselves. We, we can't, you know, if we don't do that, there will be no choice. Well, th there's an element of round peg, square hole. You know, uh, this profile probably wasn't going to get into Harvard. No. But but why would they have been looking at Harvard? I guess They wouldn't want that. Right. They might not even want that, that environment. Right. Okay. And on the other hand, uh, the first case probably wasn't looking at a Westchester. Exactly. And not to disparage the schools, but their, their competitiveness just isn't the same. Right. This is such interesting stuff. Um and, and it's real stuff, too, because you're talking about people's lives. Right. <laughs> Not a little trivial thing. But but it, but this is the result of, of, in some cases, years of effort. I mean, in high school, four years. In some cases, it's, uh, it's as you, years as of As I know well, you advise that the admissions process alone is spread out over almost a year and a half, two years. Right. So here's, here's what I'm going to suggest. I suggest if you're in this window, whether you're a student or a parent or know anybody who's coming through this window, you need to talk to Cheryl or talk to somebody like me, really both of us. But um, here's how you get a hold of Cheryl, Ace College Advising, and uh, CDBB, uh, uh, CDBBCC. And uh, Cheryl's got an excellent program. The first discussion is always complimentary. Absolutely. Uh, so there's no reason not to take that step at all. And uh, while I'm flashing my stuff up here, Cheryl, why don't you just, uh, let's close this out. Any, any uh, parting thoughts here? And here's how you get a hold of me, by the way. My parting thoughts are that you need to plan early, you need to be realistic. I will be realistic. I don't sugarcoat the information with the parents and the students. We need to we need to look at what ha, what is concrete that the student has achieved so far and let's go from that point. And if we plan that way, all students will have the choice of colleges to which to attend. Excellent. So these are just four case studies. You've worked with lots yes. and lots and lots of students. Okay. All right, listen, uh, I'm, we're going to wrap this up. Steve Green here from Make the Grade. This is part of my business success series. I, I am so uh, happy to be here with Cheryl again. Video number five. Yep, thank you so much. It's like a so new much. record. I just saw a thing. Billy Joel's playing his fourth uh, concert <laughs> there you at go. Citizens Bank Park. But you've had five videos That's with right. me. So <laughs> Billy Joel's got nothing on you. And uh, anyway, so you can get a hold of me, 540-TEST. 
Love to have a conversation with you if an entrepreneur and interested in doing something like this. Cheryl, what, 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 maybe we'll think something to do next time. Yes, but, uh, come up with more. we got, we got more. So it, it never ends. Education never ends, and, and it shouldn't. So thanks, everybody, for listening. Check out the other videos, and we'll see you soon.